So the benefit of using SAS or SCSS is that you can uh, create your own classes and use the mix-ins um, to include the right styles or the proper styles. Uh, the framework comes with a class called limit. Well, let's uh, say I wanted my own class called wrapper. And I'll just put something in there for now. And I want it to have the same behavior as uh, the limit class. If I were to save this and uh, switch to my browser, let me make sure. Okay. So all our styles have been stripped. We don't have a layout anymore. Let's go ahead and turn this wrapper class uh, into, or I guess use the same styles for the as the limit. Since we have uh, all of the mixins, we can make use of the limit mixin, and I'll save that, and then come back and refresh. And you can see here, if I inspect this. There we go. The wrapper now takes on those uh, limit style properties. Now, because it's in SAS, I could also change the uh, the default variable. I think it's limit width. Me... Oh darn! Sorry. I think that's the name of the uh, right limit width, and the default is 68.75 EMs. Let's say for whatever reason I wanted to make mine, I don't know, 400 pixels. I could save that, and there we go. Set it to 400 pixels. So that's one of the benefits of using. Uh, SCSS. Let's go ahead and try out a few more examples. I'm going to replace this with a header and I'm going to give it a class of site header. And I want that to be uh, my row, which is used for uh, nesting all the columns. And how about I have an h1 site dash title? We'll call it blue plate sass and then how about a nav you can guess site dash menu and uh, I don't know I'll just put anything in there for now I'm not even gonna make them links I'll just here we go Let's say we wanted to make our header behave as like a row. We would do it the same way we did our wrapper. We would include the mix in. We'll make it a row. And then uh, for our site title, we want to make these columns. And remember, in blue plate, the columns are called spans. And in this mixin, it takes in a, a variable or a parameter. And uh, for my site, oops, title, why don't we make this a 12? So let me save that. And it's compiled. I'll come back here and refresh. And it looks like I, oh, I forgot to remove that. Yeah, we don't need that. Let's save that. Then I'll refresh it. Okay, that's a little better. So the site title has a span of 12 columns or 100%. And the site header has a width of 100%. And it has all of the uh, necessary row properties. Let's go ahead and apply another span size to our, our nav, our site menu.
and we're going to include how about span eight and let's change this one to four there we go refresh it and there we go our site title as you can see here is floated to the left and our site menu floated to the right with a uh, eight column span 